We can measure an angle in a number of different units. However, given an angle measure in any unit, we can convert that measure to a measure in a different unit. And this is useful if you prefer some type of angle measure unit, such as degrees, and someone reports an angle measure to you in some other unit. So let's see how this works. Suppose a gip is a unit of angle measure such that one gip extends 1 15th of the circumference of a circle. The angle shown below has a measure of three gips, and we want to know the degree measure of this angle. First of all, if we look at this diagram, each one of these tick marks along the circle represents 1 15th of the circumference of the circle. So each one of these tick marks ticks off 1 15th of the circumference, which is one gip. So this little green arc here is one gip. And then we can see that this angle does have a measure of three gips. Now there's 15 gips in the full circumference, and this angle's rays cuts off three of those gips. So this, the angle's rays subtends an arc that is three fifteenths of the circumference of the circle. Now if you compute three fifteenths, you get 0 0.2, which is 20%. And so the angle's rays cuts off 20% of the circumference of the circle. Now we know that there's 360 degrees in one full circumference. So if the angle's rays cuts off 3 fifteenths or 20% of the entire circumference, then it should cut off 3 fifteenths of those 360 degrees. Now 3 fifteenths of 360 degrees is really 72 degrees. So this angle has a measure of 72 degrees. Now suppose an angle has a measure of 300 degrees. We should start by drawing a diagram of this to make sense of the situation. So we'll draw our initial ray pointing in the 3 o'clock direction and then we'll rotate counterclockwise 300 degrees. Now there's 360 degrees in a full rotation so 300 degrees probably looks something like this. Now after drawing our angle, we generally draw a circle centered at the vertex of the angle. So we'll draw a circle here, it's not a very good circle, but imagine that's a circle centered at the vertex of this angle. Now the angle's rays cut off an arc along this circle. So those angle's rays subtend an arc, which I have here in red. And this arc, subtended by the angle's rays, is 300 times as large as our unit, which is 1 360th of the circumference. Now we know there's 360 degrees in a full circumference, so if this angle's rays cut off 300 degrees, then the angle's rays cut off 300 360ths of the circumference of the circle. Now if you compute 300 divided by 360, you should get about 83.3%. So the angle's rays cut off about 83.3% of the circumference of the circle. Now, if this angle's rays cut off about 83.3% of the circumference, and there's 15 gips in the full circumference, the angle's rays should cut off 83.3%, or 300 360ths, of those 15 gips. So the angle's rays should cut off 300 360ths of the 15 gips, which is 12.5. So this angle has a measure of 12.5 gips. Now if we look back at the diagram, if there's 15 gips in a full rotation, our diagram seems to be pretty close, if this is 12.5 gips.